Hi Sunshine, welcome back to our channel. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lori Ann. And, and together, together we are Mad Curls. And today is Treatment Tuesday. Yes it is. No, it's kind of late. Um, but as consistent as we are, we're still putting it out. We could have not put it out, but we are putting it we out. We are here. Because <laughs> we are excited. Today is Treatment Tuesday and we are going to have a treatment. But along with this treatment, we are going to introduce a brand new product line that has now been launched on the market for on you guys to purchase mm -hmm. if you'd like and so we're going to do the treatment first and then we're going to follow it up with the stylers mm -hmm. and so but the new line that has launched is it's called be my curl mm -hmm. cute name it's very cute be my curl yeah. it's different yes. so be my curl um if you follow us on instagram or social media your facebook friends yes um <laughs> bad curls fam on your facebook yes. um we went down to the launch party. We were invited to the launch party for Be My Curl for these yes. products, and we got to meet the owner and see the products, and mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of buzz and excitement. So we have them here, and we were like, let's do them on the channel. We took a picture with the owner. Well, you we did. I'll, I'll insert picture. that for you, girl, because you told me, you were like, let's take a picture with him so we can insert it in the video. We'll insert it in the video. Okay. 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 All right. So um, let's just jump right into the products, what's in this line. We said it's a treatment Tuesday, so of yes. course there is a treatment in, right. this, uh, in this line. Yes. So, right. because this line really encourages when you put the products in to make sure your hair is wet. So we will stress it now, we will stress it throughout, we will stress it as we apply the products. But right now, here's a moisturizing deep conditioner. This is called Seal the Deal, and this is a treatment that we will both be using today. Yes. And this is going to start off the system, the three-part system. Yeah, so we didn't say it's like a three-part system. Okay. These products, so they launched like three parts. System. Three part system. Yeah, so this Those is step four one. Parts, and we'll explain why. We will also will be, be explaining the philosophy behind the three-part system, which I really dug. I thought it was pretty cool yeah. um, why um, he came about this line. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so this is the first part. This is the treatment. Yes. Then we will go into the stylers. The first thing to kick off the styler is their... It's called the Main Squeeze, mm -hmm. and it's a leave-in curl primer, basically like a leave-in conditioner. Okay. And then this I is like where... The, the main primer, because yeah. if you're into makeup, you always know that that kind of like starts off your makeup yeah look they so. say it's a great foundation or like a base yeah so like that's what a primer is when you're doing makeup. yeah so i think that's cool i yeah. like that word primer it was interesting it drew my attention to it at the part of my primer okay yeah a new kind of category in the hair care community yeah. i like that a primer all right then the this two is stylers but yeah. you only would need one mm -hmm. when you're doing your hair but it's based on the hair type uh, type until yeah. we have so the first one is for wavy to curly hair 2a to 3b you would use the to have and to hold hydrating gel okay so this one's like it's like creamy it looks like a cream okay. kind of and this one is called let's get kinky this is a hydrating gel as well and this is for hair type that is curly to coily okay and so that's like 3c to 4c okay so they broke it up by type here mm-hmm and that one definitely looks more like a gel. It does. That's more gel-like. Yes. And though you just said 3C to 4C, this is the one that we will be using today. Yes. We kind of type our hair 3B, 3C-ish. Mm -hmm. So kind of, like, we're kind of like that in between. And so it really was kind of like our choice. And so we've chosen, because it is a gel, yeah. to try this. And there were some girls at the party that have tested these products before. They were part of the testing process. Mm -hmm. And they do rave. A lot of everybody was raving about this one. So yeah. we were like, okay, we'll go with this one in this video today. Yeah. So, so yeah, okay. so these are all the products, mm -hmm. and we are going to start with the treatment. Yeah. So if you want to hear more about this line, more about these products, as we do our treatment first, then, then please keep watching. Please keep watching. Okay. So first things first, water. Let's start looking down when you put that on. Uh, My plastic bag just <laughs> rolled away. Oh, yeah. girl. It was a distraction. What I do? Oh, you know the usual, just spraying with water. <laughs> okay. So this okay. deep treatment, it's eight ounces, and it's called Seal the Deal. The names are cute mm -hmm. on these products. And um, for the most part, I think it's like, like a moisturizing deep conditioner. It says it has blends of cocoa butter, chamomile, and lemon balm in its stuff. I to. thought that that ingredient, lemon balm, was mm -hmm. a new ingredient. We don't really hear about that too often. Lemon unless, balm. You know, we just have not reach for products that have it in there, but um, I'm interested to see. Yeah, but it's supposed mm -hmm. to... Moisturize, Let's nourish, like. and strengthen the hair. Okay. Which oh, is good. Oh, okay. Maybe between two things today must be a good day for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Alright, you're cracking it open first. I just want to see what it smells like. Go ahead. Oh, because of the lemon balm, I wanted Ooh. it has like a citrusy smell to it. That's why I cracked it open because okay. I wanted to see. Because that word just kind of piqued my interest. An ingredient. Oops. Oh yeah, okay. it is kind of citrusy. It's very, not overwhelming at all though. No. It's pleasant. Very pleasant. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, that is pleasant. Mm -hmm. That smells so good. Okay. Okay. So basically, the Be My Curl. We'll sit here and talk about it, girl. Okay. Make sure you're not going go off camera, girl. Yeah, no, I decided to go this way since you don't want to be missed it. Okay. <laughs> So the creator of Be My Curl, his name is Joseph Boro, and he is a curly hair stylist, natural hair stylist, and he was a former Diva Curl specialist, I believe they said. Okay, Diva yeah. Curl specialist, and he was in the industry for 18 years, yes. and then he got his own salon. It's called Curls on Fifth, and it's in New York. And I asked them, I'm like, Curls on Fifth, does that mean like Fifth Ave? And they were like, yeah, yes. so Curls on Fifth. <laughs> curls on Fifth. And he does natural hair, and he decided to come out with his own line. Okay. And here it is. And it's, um, the highlight of this brand is that it's like, it's super simple. It's just like, boom, yeah. boom, boom, one, two, three, and like, that's all you need. You don't need And his philosophy behind that was that brands come out with a lot of different things, and... Obviously, they don't have the product junkie mentality over there because, you know, product junkies, like, we just love the, the more the merrier. Yeah. But in this line, for simplicity, I think, you know, when you when you act like you have some sense in this channel, you know, we always go off the, the scale, okay, off the rails, as they always say. But um, it really is the simplicity of it. I think that if we were not product reviewers, we would definitely gravitate towards the simplicity of mm -hmm. things because I did gravitate towards lines like one, two, three when I wasn't a product reviewer, the simplicity of it. I was hardly into all of this product testing and trying out new products every other day, bringing out something new. Yeah. You know, um, so with that simplicity, this is very simplistic. Yeah. Okay. When um, reading about this line, what I really loved was that it took a while for the line to come out because it went through so much testing and testing with people, which we've said on our channel before, like brands just drop products like left, right, and center every other week, every mm -hmm. other month, always dropping lines. I'm like, but are they testing it? Right. Like with people, like before you slap the label on, before you start like promoting it online, it's just the stuff behind the scenes, testing it with actual like natural hair, different hair textures. Yes. And that's what they did with this line. So it's like, it's a guarantee mm -hmm. to work for so, all hair types because it's been in. tested on all hair types like hundreds exactly. of times so i was like that's very cool I like have you dipped in yet yes um <laughs> oh, yeah. i like the way it feels when i dipped in yeah it has amazing slip yes oh yes oh yeah, oh, yeah. need to adjust my mirror okay so some other info yeah so i so i like that um that they did test it because um sometimes um, these lines are just popping up all over the place you yeah. can really get these things bought and an um, unpackaged home and then a whole nother line comes out mm -hmm. and as much as you know product junkies love that it's like come on come on let's save us some money man no we know you all know we don't want to save ourselves some money <laughs> speaking of saving ourselves some money um this three-part system is would you say yeah so currently you can only buy it in like a like in a kit of three so you'll get the deep conditioner you'll get the primer and then whichever gel you want um and that's 69 dollars. so you guys might be like whoa because when i saw it, i was kind of like whoa but we didn't actually like tell them like the rest like the rest of the information about the line so okay. it is curly girl friendly there okay. are no silicones parabens um What's the other one? Silicones, parabens, uh, sulfates um, yes. in this line. It is cruelty free. There are organic ingredients. Mm -hmm. And um, so that could be why. And plus, it's like it's like a new brand. It's like small. So, um, well, when you think about it, it's $23 per in, per, per um, bottle. But again, it's it's the it's you, the ingredient yeah you know if you compare it to say like a diva or something you know that this is what we expect to pay because when you have these high expectations you know all this curly girl friendly and stuff then you have to pay i guess perhaps accordingly mm -hmm. i don't know but anyway i didn't think where it was outrageously once i broke it down in my mind like that you know yeah um, so right now you can only buy the three maybe later on they might sell them separately but at the moment you can only buy it as a kit mm -hmm. Well, sometimes when things have like steps to them, yeah, um, like it works like a system. So yes, you know. and because they encourage you to really make sure that your hair is soaking wet when you start applying the stylers, I think the fact that this is a moisturizing deep conditioner that's encouraging the moisture. That your hair has to be extremely moisturized, and you have to follow directions according to what the owners say that the makers of these products you know sometimes like we, once we know our hair and how products act 
if I get a brand new brand and, I'm, and I try something exactly, but then I find it like a shortcut way or something that works better, I'll adjust. But initially, it's always a good idea to follow it according to what the directions say mm -hmm. so that you can't say later on it didn't work for you. You have to give it its best shot. Yeah. So. So like some of the, it says that it has premium ingredients in it. And so some of those ingredients are argan oil, shea butter, aloe vera, and right. all those are organic. So, you know, whenever I see like organic or whatever, like I just expect to pay more money. Even in the grocery yes, store, we go I down know. like the organic aisle. Yes. Like things are just more because I guess it's better for you. I know. Like the other, yesterday we went grocery shopping and I love spinach. I mean, I absolutely love raw spinach you do and so i've been on this kit kit every week i'll go and i'll get two bags of dull spinach or the store brand whatever is cheaper like i don't want to pay more than five dollars it's like two for five but yesterday they had organic spinach and it was really cute I forget the name of it. it had little kids faces on so like kitty it looked like kitty spinach or something but it wasn't but it was baby spinach which i love baby spinach there's a distinct difference between baby spinach and regular spinach bigger leaves are the is it adult spinach? I don't know. Just spinach. Like adult spinach has like bigger leaves. <laughs> yeah, definitely. it does. Yeah. So, but the baby spinach yesterday was on sale in like a big plastic um, container and it was $4.99. So I was like, wow, that was pretty good because it was organic, it said. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the difference between organic? Is it the way they grow it or something? I don't know. The certain dirt they use? I don't know. What, <laughs> what, what makes something organic? Yeah, let us know. Yeah, what makes an, an egg organic? Do they feed the chickens different things? Yeah. I'm curious to know, because I'm not really into the whole organic thing. I know we're just trying to get into right product ingredients, organic ingredients, so to speak. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I know we are, because like we're back in the gym and yeah. like now we're trying to like watch what we eat and like I want to start doing like protein shakes and protein bars and like mm -hmm. I had my first protein bar this morning and I'm just like, and I'm like, you know, is it the protein bar? And you're like, you know, you have to be careful like what you're eating, because I was just all up in the aisle yesterday like wanting to test different protein bars. Yeah. And, you know, you can't just be out here eating anything. You know anything about protein bars? Because you are, and you say, like, kind of, this is why, guys, it's out late. Not my fault. I know, it's my fault. Right here. Right she here. actually hit me with the, I'm hiring on the <laughs> channel. And I'm like, <laughs> like, what do you mean? I know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we took too much of a break. We had the weekend off. And then yesterday, we were all set. But when we went to the grocery store, the plan was to go work out, run to Target really quick, pick up a few things. Well, we all know that that's never the case. When do you ever run to Target, pick up a few things? So after we peruse and peruse and peruse and peruse the aisles, by the time we got home with our gazillion bags, um, and we were good. It was strictly food. Yes, we had to go down the hair care product aisle because who doesn't when you go to Target? Okay, but um, we were good. <laughs> <laughs> we just looked. We just looked. Doesn't cost anything to look, as they always say. That's what we did. All right. Are you almost done? Um, I, I am. All right. All right. So with this mask, what they say to do is you can um, rinse it out after 15 to 20 minutes or for added penetration, cover with a plastic cap or um, with or without heat for a minimum of 10 minutes, okay. which is most likely what we're going to do because we love, we love doing the heat. We love some heat. Mm -hmm. We All just right. help, feel like it helps just kind of like penetrate a little bit better. Yeah. Um, so we are going to finish up putting our deep conditioners in, go sit under some heat, most likely because mm -hmm. we like heat, right? Oh, yes. Go sit under some heat, and we'll be back to give you guys our thoughts on this deep conditioner, how it rinsed out, how it felt, and then we'll jump into the stylers. Okay. All right. See you guys All right. soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. We are back. We rinsed the deep conditioner out of our hair. Mom, what do you think? You rinse first. Oh, my gosh. My hair still smells wonderful it does you smell the lemon mm -hmm. this is like the perfect time of year you guys you know how in particular to certain scents different times of the year so this is perfect and my hair is absolutely soft and beautiful and extremely defined you said what did you say what was that expression that you used when you were um you said it was flourishing flourishing yeah, you're like, yeah. Oh, my hair is already flourishing, flourishing. And yeah. like, that's the perfect word like like we haven't even begun to put products in yet and it's already flourishing yeah. Look at the front. They're like yeah. moingy. This is a mood, as they say. Yeah. Like, My expectations really... for this whole system is super high mm -hmm. just because of how much testing it had and how many different hair types and, like, just all the testing it claims to yeah. have had. So, like, I feel like 
this is gonna work for me I know this is gonna work they've tried it on tons of different people tons of different hair so starting off with the mask already the mask felt amazing amazing slip the hydration you know when you rinse it out it feels amazing so like the mask works like the, we love the mask we love the mask we like the mask we love the mask yes so the mask is a go so after the mask okay. now you get yeah, down, down to the, the styling <laughs> okay so the first thing thing up is the primer yes. the main squeeze leave-in curl primer so again whether like no matter which gel that you use the, there's only one primer so okay. everybody's going to use this primer okay so you want to all right, let's see, let's, let me do it, right, let me see. I'm going, to, do I'm going to put it, um, let me put. Yeah, I'm trying to think, do I want to section, section. my hair? I don't know. Yeah. My hair is not all the same length, so um, my sectioning is getting better, but not all the way better. I just have bigger chunks these days. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay, so. All right, so. Yeah, I'll just I'll just section because this part your hair has to be significantly wet for. Okay. And so that's not like one of those things where uh oh, maybe it has to be wet, maybe it doesn't have to be wet, maybe it has to be damp. No, yeah, you they, they say that. put some water in your hair. Okay. Get your hair wet. So let's do that. And they say this so this is the foundation, this is the base. Okay. And it also um says that it it's um, a great base for any products that you want to use. So oh. it, it pairs well with a lot of different products. Okay. So for those of you who like to like mix it up and mix and match, it's just a great foundation, a great leave-in primer. Yeah, the word primer. All That's right, what so I'm, I got out of that word. My hair okay. is significantly wet and now. Minus two. That. Just right after the deep conditioner, mm -hmm. shiny. Yeah. All right. Should I hit you? Okay. okay. So. Yep. Woo! All okay. right. I squeezed just a little bit and it came yeah, out. So. Okay. Oh, All yeah. right. Okay. Sorry. I'll learn from like that mistake. That. Just okay. <laughs> got a little bit of it. <laughs> if that's considered a little, I don't know. Oh, it smells. You ever like see those the same scent? Use a dime size amount, and it's like a huge glob. Yeah, for like <laughs> curly hair yeah. Uh, people. Yeah. <laughs> so it has the same scent as the mask, right? It does. Yeah. You get that lemon, mm -hmm. but in here, some of the main ingredients are where is it? Flaxseed oil, argan oil, and aloe vera. And this okay. smooths, prevent, prevents frizz, and it hydrates. Okay. So I'm just raking that in, praying hands method, smoothing it in. Yeah, my mirror's right here. Yes. Right it goes in very good. All right, are you going to do um, the gel as you go to? Normally I do, right? Yeah. Yeah, I probably should. Just stick to plan. Thank you for reminding me of that. So the gel we are going to use is the Let's Get Kinky. This is for the 3C to 4C hair types. Okay. And this is definitely more gel looking. Have your um, brush in here. No, I left no? it in the bathroom. Okay. Do you need it? I kind of wanted to a little bit, but I have my wide tooth comb here. I think I can. Do you? Yeah, just kind of want to. If not, I can go get it. Do you mind, oh. girl? Yeah, that, okay. that yours mine. Your black one? Yeah, even though the pink would match better with this. Okay, I'll break back, guys. Okay. <laughs> As I walk with the gel in my hand. All right. <laughs> yeah, I just want to pull all the product through, and any entangles, I just want to make sure the product goes through, so we can see it at its best advantage. Okay. Thanks, girl. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going in with the gel. The gel does not smell like um. This gel does not smell like the uh, the, the, lemon. Deep, the deep conditioner or the okay. primer. It doesn't have that lemony scent. Okay. And for this gel, it has hydrolyzed rice protein in it and quinoa and aloe vera. So, okay. Yeah. Whereas the other gel, it's more of a it's more of a cream. It looks more cream like. Okay. And that has hydrolyzed quinoa, amino acids, chamomile, and kiwi. So. All right. Different different ingredients, different look. But I know okay. people who have like those thicker textures. Um, mm -hmm. They love aloe vera. So when I saw aloe vera in there, I was like, okay, because I know for like pre poos and stuff, they love yeah, they love like aloe that. vera. Yeah, so. no, it doesn't smell like that. What does it smell like? It uh, has a slight scent. It, maybe mm. it's a a few degrees lesser of a scent. Do you think it's in the same family of a scent? Of a lemon? Yeah, kind of, sorta, right? Kind of, sorta. Yeah. It's like, it smells clean. It does smell clean. That makes sense. It smells, it smells like clean. Yeah. They're, they're not bakery smelling products. They're, they're leaning towards the, but like definitely, I don't know if I'd say fruit, fruity as much as lemon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As much as citrus. Yeah. 
I can't tell you the kind of hold this gel claims to have because I don't think it claims to have. I don't see anywhere where it says what kind of hold it's going to have. So we'll have to see. Um, I believe it says like bouncy curls and stuff on it. Scrunch again, bouncy, frizz free curls, but it doesn't say what okay. kind of what kind of hold it's gonna have. So I'm anticipating soft to medium. That's Me just too. that's just my guess right now. Yes. Like a soft to medium. Yeah, hold. If, if the product doesn't stress, sometimes it's just like a standard hold, right? Yeah. Uh no, I don't need the oh, sorry, I just need a little bit for the back. I always miss the back sections. Don't forget that back section. You know, we always go like left to right, right to left, whatever, but sometimes we forget to get that back. Well, at least I do. You forget to get the back? I can forget to get the back. And then it's a good washing when it's done, but then you always just feel like, oops. The it's back like a giant jeans. dry patch. Yeah, in the back. Yeah, so well, here's one of those. So has anybody heard of Be My Curl? At the um, party, the launch party, a lot of people had heard of it. A lot of people had heard of his um, salon mm -hmm. on... Um, what they call crease of curls on yeah, yeah. I, mean, I didn't realize how many different like curly like salons there were in new york so it's like okay here's somebody else who's like you know cutting hair yeah and because new there's york none city. in connecticut like mm -hmm. i'm thinking because it's kind of like a new genre so to speak you know they're not really popping up everywhere but i think the licensing licensing is much difficult much more difficult to get i heard to be here at the party that it's very difficult to Get yeah, as a curly stylist. As a curly stylist, yeah. yeah. Well, we can definitely understand why they cost more because, mm -hmm. like, cutting curly hair is a lot of work. <laughs> yes, it's a lot. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I thought it was a new thing because one time somebody made the comment, "If you're a good stylist, you should be able to call, cut all mm -hmm. hair textures." But that's probably simply not true because it probably does take a certain skill because you got to be careful. Um, you have to know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you have to kind of dictate what the curly person in your chair or you know, the textured person in your chair is going to do. Some people want you to come in bone straight because they, when we went outside, didn't somebody say that they were going to go, but they had to like blow dry their hair. Yeah. yeah, we just recently had a question in our DMs actually, how do we get our hair cut? Do we prefer to get it like cut dry um, or like in its natural texture, like curly, or do we go with it straight? And to me, it just makes sense to go with your hair the way you wear it the most. So yes. you can like really see what the haircut's going to look like. So if I'm getting my hair cut, I'm going in curly so I can see what it looks like. I'm not going to straighten my hair. Sorry, the phone rang. <laughs> Turn my, we film on our phone. That's um, odd. Yeah, for all of you guys that ever want to know what we film on, you know, all this high-tech equipment. No, it's just an iPhone. Yeah. And, and it got through. That's odd. Yeah, that's very weird. I don't know what just happened. Very um, odd. But yeah, for me, like it wouldn't make sense for me to go and get my hair cut straight. Because it would definitely, like, shrink up. I can't gauge yes. how much hair is being cut. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, once it curls up again, it's going to really curl up. Exactly. So. Yeah, so so the last time I went to my stylist, um, I wore it in my textured state, in this curly state. Though in the past, I mean, I hadn't gone to her since I'd been, like, this curly or probably on this channel. Um, and started doing everything, like, a little bit more professionally, going to curly salons and all of that. So, but I went back recently because i wanted to cut super short and i wasn't sure that message was necessarily getting across yeah and so. we don't actually have like a cut schedule like mm -hmm. you know okay it's three no. months let's get our hair cut oh like, no we oh, just no. cut it when it needs it like my yes. hair could use a trim right now okay it could definitely use a little trim um yeah. these products have amazing slip both yeah, of them do. they, they do. feel really good in my yeah. hair i love products that just slip right through so i'll have one section yes. done on this side they're, yeah, they're, I was going to say, they're very easy to go through your hair, but not so And we're beginning. Oh, so, not so much slip. Okay, so I can always tell from this point, if it's going to be something that's going to be agreeable to me, if I'm going to like it, and I can already tell the way my hair is forming, it's something that I'm going to like. I can see, I can see the work in progress. Yeah. And again, for those who, you know, really check ingredients and stuff, um, it's curly girl friendly. It has none of the, what do people call it, like dirty the ingredients the dirty, out. yeah i'm just gonna have you scoot towards me okay because you're putting the products in your hair and people can't see and me people can't see <laughs> okay so so lots of water okay. which we don't really follow the curly girl method um necessarily oh, ne necessarily right. but lately we've been saying you know we really have to like start checking ingredients because i've definitely put silicones on the shelf this winter because it was really affecting my hair. Like, we've been having, like, sub-degree weather 
and um, yes. my hair has just been so dry, and so I've put silicones on the shelf. And I always say when you know better, you do better, and I think we've been trying to do better from you guys' instruction. And you know, like you guys are really like putting that in, like we didn't take it like that seriously, but we're going on our second year now, or in our second year, and so we are, you know, baby steps with things. You can't just like go all at once. So, you know, our channel is making progress in what we're doing. Yeah, products. So, what better time than to launch this one, this brand? And that's what they are all about. Are you almost? Done. Oh, I'm done. 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 Kind of really, not really. I'm getting there. Girl, you almost done, girl. Um, no, not really. After I do, have to finish arranging and then separating and arranging. And I know you always have to arrange and then like not mm -hmm. touch. After that, like just don't touch your hair. Yes. Back in the day, girl, I'm flinging stuff everywhere. Oh, you got it all over your pants. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna hold my shirt. I was gonna say okay. <laughs> um. I was gonna say back in the day you used to love touching your hair when it was wet i did i didn't know any better yeah, that's a styling tip like you know while your hair is like wet and you're at your hands are actually in your hair putting product in like you can fidget and stuff with it but once you know okay i keep picking up the wrong bottle <laughs> yeah once you know you get your style in place like just let it dry in place or so you know the, do whatever you're gonna do with yeah, it yeah i don't know if we've ever if we didn't quite hold it up to the camera yet but as i'm putting in my like my last dollop i think so far um you know, it just comes out nice. It's not thick, 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 and it's not thin, thin, thin. It just, it's, it's like it feels like one of the products going in. You know, um, which makes absolutely no sense. But it's not. You know how you can kind of differentiate <laughs> the cotton between the leave-in and like the gel. Like it's just part of the system, I guess. I'm you know, going ham it's over just, here. That's what happens. Like some people I know put their products in in the shower just because. I guess it's less mess, mm -hmm. and if your hair has to be soaking wet, right? Like, what better yeah. place? You were telling me that you did that the other day. You were putting your hair under the faucet, and I'm like, were you rinsing out the product when you were doing that? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, some product I put in, it was just, like, way too thick, so I stuck my whole head under the faucet trying to get, like, yeah. a ton of water in my hair because it was just not happening. It was just way too thick, and I was like, okay, I need to, what is it, dilute it? Dilute it? Um, um, dilute it. Dilute, L-U-T-D, dilute. guys. Dilute. We always say dilute it. <laughs> crazy up the product. We've got to make the product crazy. Mm -hmm. I, I love when I, I put that primer see. in. My hair just automatically gets shiny. Mm -hmm. I see that. Um, you can definitely see the highlights. See, you guys, you can see the highlights popping. And this is wet, so I can just imagine what they must look like. Dry. Dry. Very good. I honestly love, like, small like new brands yes just because like these bigger brands they already get like so much play like we know about mm -hmm. them already but i feel like a lot of the times the real hidden gems are in like the little small brands yes who would have known about like i didn't know did you know about them um no i think what happened was our name was dropped in a facebook group um curly girl method international i believe it is okay. on facebook and that's how we got invited to speaking of facebook party. i saw this morning that um they have a facebook page i have not gone to visit it because i was rush rush rushing trying to um put my makeup on and pick up our matching wardrobe and all that but there is a facebook page yeah, we'll put all their their links and stuff down below instagram facebook website yes be my curl page okay oh my last piece here okay. well so. product and water's flying everywhere mm -hmm. what about business here I like that. You can just, you can see it's, it is, I like that. So did, did we go into the whole idea of the philosophy? I know I kept talking about the philosophy about how, um, oh no, yeah, I did, yeah, we did go through that. The less is more and the simplicity of the three part mm -hmm. system. So, yeah, supply you with all you need right there. I like this. So, yeah, I can just imagine what it's going to look like when it's dry because I'm liking it when it's wet. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. So, the products are in our hair. We're going like to air dry. It looks. Yeah, it feels yeah. good. I like the way it looks. Right. 
I got product on my forehead, my <laughs> on my bronzer. Right. Okay. <laughs> um, so we're gonna let her hair air dry, and we'll be back to show you guys these results, right? Okay. Yep, we will. Yeah. All right. All right. So we'll see you guys soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. And we are back. These are our finished results. These are them. And we're loving it. It's I nice. Know. Look at the elongation. Yeah. My curls are long. I love that in a product. I really do. When it's like mm -hmm. elongation and there's definition, this is my kind of wash and go. It's getting my shape back and it's bring it on down. I know you were just That's saying that your hair is growing. Such is life, guys. Again. I'm used to it. But it's nice. Yeah. Um, the, the There is shea butter in some of these products. Definitely in the, some of the stylers. Right. I believe it's in the primer. Okay. And um, because when we were done, when our hair was dried, you like you asked yes. me like, should we put an oil in our hair? And I, at first, I was like, yeah. And then as I started to scrunch out, I'm like, no, no, like no. This is it's this is seriously all you need. Like you feel. I mean, something. This, this is just the product. Look at that. Yeah. Just it looks moisturized. It doesn't need oil or anything. Yep. Wow. I would say you know the the curls definitely look hydrated, not like dull, but not over shiny yeah. either. Okay, like it's nice right here. it looks really good i really love it i like it look i like that. it a lot and look at them highlights girl yeah the highlights are nice too the highlights look healthy they're not like frizzing mm -hmm. out and drying so it does good on um hair that's uh been colored very defined right mm-hmm <laughs> <laughs> just need an arm rest oh okay go, on. <laughs> girl, go ahead girl. very okay, very go. very defined so it's nice I like it it's a go it's a go so these are our results yeah, um, the hold on the gel, I would say, is medium. Absolutely. I would say medium. I wouldn't say it's anywhere near soft. Um, Not at all. I would say it's definitely no. a medium. medium. There is a there is a cast. There w there was yes. a cast. We broke up the cast, yeah. and it just breaks up with your hands. It does. It's very easy to break. And like, I'm not trying to break it up a whole lot because this could last. I would definitely say when I see my hair in this condition, it mm -hmm. definitely could last every bit of like three, three, three to four, three days. four days. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. yeah, totally. Which is good because mm -hmm. these are eight ounce things. So yeah. I mean, if you have to do your hair every other day, like you're gonna start going through it. Yeah. So um, yeah, this is Be yeah. My Curl. So. This is the curly to coily system. Okay. That's what we did. The the deep conditioner, the primer, and then the gel. And we were told at the party that this this particular one, the curly to coily one, um, what was the name of the 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 coily it's let's get kinky let's get kinky that this one definitely has gives you definition and mm -hmm. it gives you that kind of like a hold yeah um we don't know about the other one because we haven't tried the other one so i guess somebody that would get that and you're two to three let us know in the comments yeah mm -hmm. or i mean they companies just like make the products and they say here's what's for here's what we suggest mm -hmm. or what like we're, we're telling you to do people just do what they want to do if you right. are like a gel person this looks like a gel yeah and it performs like a gel yes. so the other one looks more like a cream so it could be more cream like acting because who wants to weigh down you know waves wavy hair right um but you do you boo boo so <laughs> whatever you want to do I know. get whatever kit you want to get the only difference is is in like this styler the whether it's the let's get kinky or the i think it's the hold me why did i put it away why did i do that Which it's, it's um is it the whole what? sorry did i write it down it's um to have and to hold that cream so that's the only difference so when oh you, the other one yeah so okay. when you buy the kits you're always going to get the deep conditioner and the leave-in curl primer yeah but it just depends on whether you want the gel, the yes. let's get kinky, or the to have and to hold. Yes, whether you're wavy to curly or curly to coily. Yeah, that is okay. the only difference. So this is it. Yeah. Let us know what you think if you are interested in trying this line. Um, yep. It is out now. We will put all that information in the description box. If you know about the salon in New York. Yeah. Have you heard of Joe Borough, is it? Joseph Borough. Joseph Borough. Good job, Joe. Yeah. Can we yeah. call you Joe? Thanks for, <laughs> Thanks for letting us be a part of the launch. And this is it. It is Mad Curls approved. Mad Curls approved. We need like a, a little a thing that like dings. Here. Right, yes. Ding. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching. And, and we shall see you in our next video. See you in our next video. All right. Bye. Bye.